Any plans for Friday night? You can party. I know how to throw one hell of a party. We got a party now. I'm ready to party. Okay, party people. Start the party. Let's party. Well, we gotta get all dolled up for a party. Party, 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 party. Enjoy your last look at my ass, cause I'm gonna party it off. Everybody knows it's party time. Hi, everybody, and welcome to NSS. This is the Reynolds Report. Actor Chadwick Boseman is weighing in on the Martin Scorsese controversy with Marvel, saying the director must not have seen Black Panther or he failed to understand its impact for the African-American community. The mystery that Scorsese is talking about, it's in Black Panther. And I, and I think the funny thing about it is maybe Scor- if he saw Black Panther, he didn't get that. He didn't get that there was this sort of feeling of being unsure there was this feeling of not knowing what was going to happen that black people felt because we never had a superhero like this before. We thought that they, we, we, you like, you know, white people will kill us off. So it's a possibility that we could be gone. So we felt that angst. We felt that thing that you would feel from cinema when we watched it. Maybe Scorsese didn't get that when he watched it. That's cultural. Maybe it's generational. I don't know. But I'm securing what we did, you know, so his statements don't really bother me. The CMA Awards got a lot of backlash on social media yesterday after not choosing Carrie Underwood as Entertainer of the Year. Many echoed the sentiment that with the show focused on the ladies of country, Carrie should have been the obvious choice over Garth Brooks. Still, despite her successful year, Garth continues to turn out hits, sell albums, and sell out venues right and left. It's time for things I've learned from movies. And I just want it to stay that way. I don't want to be unfaithful, but it's hard. Stop what? feeling sorry for yourself. Take some responsibility for yourself. Don't blame it on your nature. How can you say at your age that you've never been faithful to anyone? What kind of boyfriend are you? What kind of person are you? I'm not condoning it. That's why I'm here. But you lament the inevitable demise of your fidelity with Irene when you can control it. You can remain faithful if you choose to. It just takes a little effort. And that's it for Things I've Learned From Movies. Speaker Nancy Pelosi said yesterday, if the president has something that is exculpatory, Mr. President, that means do you have anything that shows your innocence, then he should make that known. Wow, call the burn unit stat. Yet another Trump associate, this time Roger Stone, has been found guilty on all counts. How long until Trump claims he barely knew the man? The state of Ohio has passed a bill allowing students answers on test questions to be signed scientifically inaccurate due to their religious beliefs. Note to self, never, ever seek treatment from a doctor from Ohio. A rare painting of Mozart at the age of 13 is about to go to auction and is expected to fetch over a million dollars. The painting is considered rare because the artist was actually fortunate enough to capture the teenage genius when he wasn't on his cell phone. A flight out of Moscow was delayed while the crew rounded up a stowaway pigeon that was loose in the passenger cabin because the sky is no place for a bird. Still with birds, China is lifting a five-year ban on American poultry. Apparently, even the Chinese are having trouble saying no to Popeye's chicken sandwich. According to a new study, an ancient species of ape stood 10 feet tall. Researchers say that it would have been 11 feet tall if it had listened to its mom and stopped slouching. A Nobel Prize winning scientist says that he has no idea if the Big Bang actually happened. Seinfeld and Fred Yes, the Big Bang, he's not so sure. Time for Nobody Gives a f- A neighborhood organization in Texas has ordered a family to take down its Christmas decorations because they claim it's too soon. We'll tell you when you can start to feel jolly, people. Hey, stupid neighborhood organizations, nobody gives a f- Facebook says it's fixed that glitch that opened your phone's camera. Facebook would like to apologize and also compliment you on your choice of underwear. Hey, Zuckerberg, you punk. Nobody gives a f***. And a Kentucky man has won the legal right to have a personalized license plate that reads, 
I'm God. Well, doesn't everybody who drives a Hummer think that, though? Hey, Kentucky, you backwater jerk-offs. Nobody gives a f***. Thanks, everybody. We have a new episode of the Reynolds Report for you every weekday. Be sure to check out NSS Live starring Frank D'Angelo, Tuesdays and Thursdays for NSS Live.